Okay. Let's see. Today's date, it's um, September 21st of 2019. I've been sitting here doing a few things on the computer, and I thought maybe that'd make a uh, good video. You could see a little bit of what I'm doing, and maybe these are some of the things that uh, you didn't know existed, or maybe these are some of the things that... Uh, see I'm doing wrong and you can tell me how to do a better job so let's see did I say this is Jim Howard in Fort Worth Texas I think I remember saying the date but I'm not sure I said my name so I've already done a few things here but uh, by the way today is the 21st and when I get a uh, commission or money from YouTube, it's always on the 22nd. And so if I'm going to be getting anything, I should get it tomorrow. Uh, unfortunately, I can't look up and see what the current amount is because... I don't even know. <sighs> I've been doing this so long that I... Uh, I had accounts I with services and things that existed before Google took them over, before Yahoo took them over, before... you know, And I would end up with two or three accounts. Not that I... I always believe in keeping everything simple. Not that I wanted multiple accounts but I would have had an account and then they would announce that uh, well Google has taken us over of course it used to be like Yahoo you know uh, so I have two I guess AdSense or two Google I don't know what in the hell I have with them and one of them, I can go and see that they owe me $29. <laughs> the only thing is, I haven't used that account or number for, I don't know, a year or more, or I don't know how long. And unfortunately, this shows, uh, this shows, you know, like for the last 28 days, I think I can change that number to last 90 days uh, or the last or you know but um, I don't think it's accurate for what I'm last 90 days if that's correct Let's see. I can't remember now when I got... It may turn out that I won't get anything uh, tomorrow. Because they only pay you when you have more than $100. It shows up... It goes direct in my bank account. And it shows up it is coming from Google... I think, it, I think it's Google AdSense. Ugh. So anyway, I'm, uh, what was I doing? Uh, you know, I really, I'm trying to get to 3,000 subscribers. And it used to be I would get uh, in the last 28 days or whatever, it'd be like 20 or 30 or something. And this month, it's like an increase of three. But... That may not be correct, too, because uh, people, YouTube people are saying uh, on their YouTube channels that uh, YouTube went through and, uh, which they, I guess, do occasionally, removed subscribers. I guess if somebody has, you know, if you're Bill Brown and you have a... YouTube account 
and or even a YouTube channel and you go and subscribe, you know, well, the person you subscribe, so you say you come over here and you subscribe. Then if you close your account down or you don't have uh, whatever it is, they go through occasionally and remove people like that. And then that subtracts from, you know, like my subscribers or whatever. So I don't know. Don't know very much. Um, these are my, you know, YouTube videos that I've made. Um, I mentioned the other day, and I've had it happen now twice in the last, oh, two weeks or whatever. Uh, YouTube had marked uh, a couple of my videos uh, not appropriate for advertising or uh, being able to make any money on it. I appealed both of them at separate times because, you know, I saw it just happened to see it. I clicked on appeal and in about a day, I think it was, it was approved. And then I had another one that popped up a day or two after that. And I clicked on it. I think it took two or three days before it was approved. So uh, that's, uh, I'm happy with that. Now, the, the only thing is, if you are a big YouTube person that uh, has a lot of subscribers and what have you, well, even a small person, but... Let me use a analogy of the big person. Okay, you're a big, you have a million or 200,000 subscribers or whatever, and you upload a video, and your people get notified, hey, you know, so-and-so has a new video. You go there. Well, everybody goes there in like a day or two. Well, not everybody, but people go there, and you get, I don't know, 1,000 views, 10,000 views, 30,000 views or whatever. Then it drops off, drops off, drops off, drops off. So if your video is not approved and then it doesn't get approved for a week, you have lost 80 or 90 percent of the money that you would have. So to those people, it really matters if there's a, you know, delay in being approved or something. Um, oh, the... Um, Video that wasn't approved was a uh, nude swimming video here. But then they approved that one right away. And that was just because of the word nude. You know, there was no pictures of anybody nude, no pictures of anybody, no pictures of anybody, you know. Nothing. They just scanned it or whatever and they saw the word nude. And the other one was... One, let's see. Oh, okay, that's when we went to this one here then. Uh, because I mentioned in the uh, title up here that uh, there you can see it. A visit to the heart doctor, a trip to the casino, and medical marijuana in Oklahoma. You know, that might have messed them up where it says, okay. That's for Oklahoma. I can see where they might think. Anyway, uh, they approved that one. took two or three days. But there was no... That's just because of the word marijuana or whatever. Maybe I see now. Maybe they thought, okay, had, you know, it's Oklahoma. Because when we went to the casino right across in Oklahoma, we're in Texas, went right across there, went to the casino, came out, and there was a young lady holding a gigantic sign with an arrow pointing over saying marijuana, medical marijuana. And then up on that little hill there was a trailer with big sign on it, medical marijuana. I had forgotten that Oklahoma had approved uh, medical marijuana. So, but anyway, they approved that one. Okay. Um, By the way, this is the keyboard that I use. 
And the reason it's there is, um, you may see that in a second. I'm making a little thing that will appear when I upload a YouTube video down the text section. I get asked occasionally uh, what keyboard or uh, mouse or something that I'm using because somebody will, you know, see it in the video. So I'm just going to have that every time I upload a video. There'll be a thing down underneath there that'll tell you. That reminds me, I forgot to list the monitor. Uh, okay, I'll have to do that. But anyway, this is the keyboard I'm using, and I really like it. Logitech uh, G910. I think I paid more than this, more than $106 for it. Uh, anyway, the G910, very happy with it. I really don't need a gaming keyboard. Uh, I don't really need all these extra keys, but I just still like the uh, still like the keyboard. And this is the mouse that I'm using. And it is the Logitech G502 Hero. And uh, I'm very happy with it. This is the, uh, which I think has also come down in price. I think I paid about, I think I paid 200 for it now 159 and I just made a video I think the last one maybe uh, now I've had this for several years but I just made for the first time a 4k video with it and uploaded it to YouTube and uh, so anyway and then this is the headset that I'm using for the microphone only and that's worked out really well for me but I'm going to replace it with this keyboard or, or this uh, this mouse man I tell you uh this headset so I'll probably order this about Wednesday I could get it tomorrow if I ordered within five hours I could actually get it tomorrow but got to hang on to my money for a few days by the way I'm uh, recording this I don't use this very often, and I think the last time I used it, I'm recording this desktop and video and everything using the uh, Debut Professional by NCH Software. And uh, I think the last time I used it, the audio sync was out. I think I've corrected it, but I really won't know until I until I upload it. I have <laughs> my two monitors hooked up again. This one though is not in 4K mode, it's in 1080 mode. And this one over here of course is not a 4K monitor and it's 10. But that way I can have the control thing over here and I can see the video that you're seeing up in the corner. And I can see what's you know happening. And I have some options over here, which I would still have the options, but if I were, if it had to be over here, it'd be, you know, in the, okay, I don't have that option. Okay. Huh. Oh, I see. Because it's embedded. Okay. Okay. I was going to say I had the option of uh, having the video full screen here, but because I've got it embedded using this software, so if I didn't have it embedded, of course then you wouldn't see me, you would just see the desktop, 
but then I could hit and get full, but I, it's better this way. Um, so, okay, where were we? Okay. Um, I can shut this down, shut this down, shut this down, shut this down. As you can see, this is the uh, headset I'm, and I've been wa I've been watching. I was I did it the other day too, or last week, or been watching different reviews of the uh, Logitech Pro X gaming headset with Bluetooth, Bluetooth with uh, Blue Voice. I guess Logitech purchased. Somebody said, might have been this person. Somebody said that. Uh, they purchased blue, you know, the blue microphones or whatever, that they purchased that company. So, um, now what was, I forgot totally what I was doing, that I was going to let you eavesdrop on. One thing I want to do, but I'm not going to get that done. I'm not going to do it with you watching, because it would just Hello. not be interesting. I just hate it that if you do go to the channel, which very few people do, if you go to a person's channel, uh, there's two videos that start automatic. If you're a subscriber and you come to the, then there's a video that we've created that you see. If you're not a subscriber, then there's, a, and both of them are, you know, you only see one, but it starts automatically. So I'm going to change this so it's like a short slideshow. So if you go there, you don't have to, you know. This test of the Logitech Brio in 4K Mo came out really well, I thought, except... <laughs> I don't want to see myself in 4K. I don't even want to see myself full screen. Uh, that just reminded me, I just happened to notice it. Had a prescription picked up today, and they have it take one by mouth every day. It's supposed to be take two by mouth every day. So instead of getting a three-month supply of 180, I got a three-month supply, which comes to 90. So have to straighten that out. It's a blood pressure heart pill, so I probably do need to take one morning and night. So I got to take care of that. That's the first time that's happened. I've I had uh, one pharmacy that I was using. Uh, CVS actually and I'd used them for a long time and I had a prescription filled and it didn't have the correct number in it you know it had you know 30 or whatever it was 60 or whatever it was and I I thought that doesn't look like that I counted and they were they didn't give me enough so anyway I told the pharmacy and they corrected it right away and then two or three months later, the same thing happened. And it was the same, you know, they have the initials or something of the pharmacist or, or, or something. And uh, so anyway, they, you know, they corrected that. I just went ahead and switched across the street, actually closer to uh, Walgreens. Now, it wasn't a controlled substance. It wasn't something that anybody would want to, uh, you know, it was just, I'm not sure how the error was made, you know. But, although, um, you never know sometimes what people, I mean, this was not something that somebody would want to get high or anything else. I worked uh, hospital security for 30 years, and we took training from time to time. 
we had a person from the DEA came in and uh, explained to us about uh, script pads and the various things about that so you could look and tell if something was wrong with it and talked about other stuff. We also had to occasionally watch videotapes on uh, various subjects. In fact, I was a department at one hospital. I was a departmental training officer for a while, and uh, I had uh, I scheduled in the, uh, police officers to come in, and we'd have a meeting every two or three months, and I would schedule somebody to come in and give us a little bit of training on something. But uh, one of the videos that we had uh, talked about nurses and doctors and uh, other people who were stealing drugs and doing that kind of stuff. Uh, nurses that would, uh, if a patient was in pain, they would steal their morphine or their Demerol or whatever, how they would do it, you know, they'd maybe have the vial, they'd uh, take out uh, morphine or Demerol or whatever it was, and how you could tell by looking at the, how many puncture holes there were in the rubber gasket or what, things like, things like that. Talked about one nurse, more than it had happened, uh, you know, like a nurse who was charting and she was so stoned out of her head that she was, music was playing over the, you know, music system, and she was writing the words from the music into the charting on the patient. Uh, there was a doctor who, uh, I forget where he was. There was a doctor, but he was addicted to one medication, and then I'm not sure if he'd, why, but he, then he moved, you know, maybe that got where it didn't get him as high, and he moved on to a, a different medication, and a different medication, and then he went to a medication that isn't subscribed very much, and you really wouldn't think somebody would be addicted to that, I forget what it was, I think actually something I'd never heard of, and I think he was in Denver or someplace, but anyway, the DEA, or for people outside, you know, Drug Enforcement Administration. And so I guess they're, some are out in the field doing, some of them are doing stuff they shouldn't be, you know. I came into the hospital that I worked at one day, and there was a bunch of guys in military khaki, khaki uniforms all over the ER and the waiting room or whatever. I, I came on duty, and I said, what are all these military, what are these army guys doing here? Well, oh, they're not army guys, they're DEA. Uh, they were practice uh, parachute jumping and and one of them twisted his leg or whatever. I started cussing underneath my breath or whatever. I think the nurse said, what's wrong? I said, they shouldn't, they, if they want to be in the military, if they want to be doing parachute jumping, let them join the military military where well, they shouldn't be out there playing around jumping out of airplane you know and so, damn blah, 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 blah. anyway anyway the DEA is doing their thing and on a computer what's this you know why let's I'll call it uh, we'll call it brand X you know drug or whatever brand X uh, what, what's this? Denver is selling more Brand X. People are buying more Brand X medication in Denver than all of the rest of the entire United States put together. I mean, the Brand X company, they should put a factory there. Wouldn't have to ship it so far, you know. And so they go and investigate, and the doctor there had decided that uh, that was the next thing he was taking, and he would, uh, I think he'd write some prescriptions to himself, then he was, he would write prescriptions 
to people, but then he would take the prescription over and say, I'm Dr. So-and-so. I want to pick this up for, you know, my patient or whatever. Doing And that was, uh, that, and that was, that was when they caught him. Remember also we had a training video on uh, a guy who was killing patients. He was, uh, I think he was actually a nurse. And it took a while before they caught him. But anyway, he was in prison. And for some reason, like the video, he agreed to make a video for, I guess, medical for security people and I guess police officers or something. But he he, he agreed that the video would be made. And it was agreed that... Uh, legal that none of it would be used. He was already committed to prison for life, but that none of it could be used against him. And uh, so the f first patient he killed, he was, was an old man. The old man was, might have had Alzheimer's or, you know, the guy was, and the, the patient was, uh, you know, Anyway, he the, the nurse didn't like a male nurse. Didn't like him, so he uh, took a catheter and just went up into him. And the guy eventually died. He didn't normally kill in the same way. He would just try out different things. And... Uh, Which one of the medications is, I, my mind is going now, that smells like, can't remember now. It kind of will come to me after this video is over. Anyway, he poisoned a patient. And for some reason, I'm not sure why he went down to the morgue when the autopsy was being done, but... The, Pathologist cut in, and then the pathologist smelled this smell, cyanide, I think. And it smells like some. What is that? Anyway, the pathologist said, I, I smell such and such. And this nurse says, uh, Oh, I gave him whatever that pudding just before he died. I gave him pudding. And the pathologist, Oh, okay. I'm not sure if that's the one. He also killed a patient some way, and he knew the patient was Jewish, and he knew that the uh, Sabbath was coming up or something, and I think Jewish tradition or something is that the patient or that the deceased has to be buried before whatever. But I may be getting this slightly wrong, but he did that. He um, he did some other things. Now, some things came up where uh, he worked for several hospitals, and something came up. Uh, we're going to let you go. Uh, we're not going to, you know, they're not going to, have his license revoked, they're not going to the hospital, it was like, you know, we just, just go, whatever. So he goes to another hospital, that hospital, if they did any kind of a check, they don't get anything bad. He ended up going to at least three hospitals, maybe more. One of the hospitals, security caught him with a gun in his locker or something, and they let him go for that. There was no uh, record of that, so there really wasn't uh, then I think he was doing what a lot of the nurses do. Well, not a lot, but... Uh, well, let me cut this short. He again poisoned a patient. And I think several with something. 
they die. Uh, hospitals monitor that, you know, every death, you know, there's like a review. Okay, the patient was admitted. Uh, they have the doctors around there from the different, you know, for all deaths in the hospital. Okay, this patient was admitted. Patient had surgery. The patient went here. Whatever, anybody, you know, and then they, you know. So, uh, I, and I think this was like the last hospital. They were having patients dying in the intensive care unit at way, you know, and it's like, okay, who's a, but about the same time, I think, and I'm not sure they would have caught him. They probably would have let him go, you know, hey, uh, you know, but whatever he killed somebody at, he also didn't like his neighbor, you know, lived in an apartment building. He didn't like his neighbor. Maybe his neighbor complained about something, and he poisoned the neighbor. Well, that, you know, that got the attention of the police and put two and two together. So how did I get on this subject? I'll have to mark this one for my playlist for hospital security. I got on that subject for some reason. Um, you know, since I'm totally sidetracked, um, Since I got so totally, you know, I was going to be doing some stuff here on the computer, letting you kind of watch, and of course I was going to be talking at the same time. Well, that's what I did. So that, uh, anyway, thank you very much for watching this video. I'm not sure what the title is going to be. I'm not sure. So anyway, thank you very much for watching.